it was it took a while to get here, but how rewarding is that decision now? Unbelievable. I always said um, whenever I got drafted, I wanted to make sure I could one stay around on the team and be a leader, and then um, whenever I got opportunity, if I'm not in the Super Bowl, I didn't want to go nowhere. Uh, I wanted to stay with whatever team I'm with and make sure I lead that team to be a Super Bowl contender and being a leader, that's what you got to do. And I take pride in that. And as you've seen with me not wanting to go to Pro Bowls, being alternate, it's just a mindset that I always had growing up is just, you know, when you stick with a team, it's loyalty. You know, you, you got to be with that squad. You got to ride with them. No, no matter how tough it is, you got to fight it out until, until I'm done. Either I'm going to retire not being able to go to a Super Bowl at all with the Titans or I was going to be able to go to one. Um, my mindset just – Take care of this AFC championship and hope my dreams come true. Is there extra pride as a team, Darrell, in winning these games? Not only who you're playing, but going into these tough environments and beating them in their. In their One more time. The beginning of that question. Is there extra pride as a team just in the difficulty of the run so far? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say necessarily pride. We, we don't worry about how good the team is. we going up for this week. It's, it's another NFL opponent. Um, we believe we're just as good as those teams. So it's just another opponent in front of us. We're going to prep for them just like we would press, uh, prep for anybody in the division, like we would prep for anybody that we was going to play outside the division. It's just another team that's in the field that we got to get ready for. I wouldn't say it was necessarily um, pride or whatever, but you take pride when people don't think you're ready, don't think you're able, you're able to go out there and compete against the guys. Yeah, we're all competitors. We all we all like like the competition in the game. So, you get a little bit of extra juice after you win those games, but you know, going into it, we prep it the same way. What are your thoughts on Mahomes? What's the challenge facing him after Brady, after Jackson, and now another MVP? Man, it's, 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 it's incredible. You know, you get these quarterbacks that you match up against. Um, for a defensive guy, that's what we live for, defensive games. And it's going to come down to us to make sure we contain him and his abilities and the things that he can do out there with the passes, the different ways he can throw the ball, um, the way he can move in the pocket. The guy doesn't look to scramble too much, but when he do, it's, it's beautiful. And so we got to make sure we, we, we contain him the same way we did with Jackson, the same way we try to do with Watson when we play against him. Um, we, we play against a couple of mobile quarterbacks, so we understand how that works. Um, biggest thing is just going to make sure we get him down on the ground when we do get around him. What's the biggest difference, I guess, in defending Mahomes than Lamar? Biggest difference? Uh, I, it's the same game plan. Get the, Don't let the guys run downfield. Um, biggest difference is – um, I can say is Holmes going to hit hit bigger players. He got more more weapons to work with. He got more guys he can get that ball to. Um, and the way he can, his arm, his mobility with that arm, the way he can let that ball sling out, um, guy be right on him. He can throw it right around you. Um, so everything is um, everything's possible with that guy. I feel like you guys have really adopted this road warrior mentality. What is it you enjoy about going into these environments? Shoot, uh, I don't enjoy anything about it. Uh, I hate the road. Um, but the biggest thing is just going up in there and just knowing that it's just all us. It's, it's just who the team is. It's family. We preach that from day one going into here. It's all about us. And when you go on the road, we know, you know, going to be a few fans out there riding with us. But at the end of the day, it's everybody in that locker room. You're not the biggest guy. You're not the fastest guy. But we're seeing you dominate inside and outside. What is it that makes you so versatile as a defensive player? It's a mindset and it's just my heart, man. I believe at the end of the day, whoever I line up against, nobody can match up against my ability. Um, been born that way. My mom taught me that way. Um, so ever since I was a young kid, I always believed that whoever I'm going against, it was the young kids around the blocks. You know, I was a little, little bit heavier growing up, but I want to race them. I want to try to beat the, the fast guys. Um, so just to be with the DBs, I try to keep up with those guys, try to make sure whatever they're doing, I can do the same thing y'all doing. It is what it is. Like um, just the mindset, just going out there, just knowing that it's a competition and I can't lose. Is that something that the coaching staff came to you to do, or is that something that – you know, just kind of develop organically. Nah, just develop organically. It's just something that, you know, I've always – when I was in college and high school, they kind of limit you. They try to tell you, you you're going to be this type of person. You're going to be this type of person. And I always said, when I got to this level, Keith Millar, he always said, man, you could be a pass rusher. You could do certain things in this league. I could see you. I see your ability. And when he told me that, I just ran with it. I'm like, okay, I got to build on my craft. And I got – as you see over the year, I changed my diet. I changed this just so I can do things a little bit better. And – it actually been working, and I think from here on out, you know, they pin me an end, I do good. Pin me a tackle, I do good. So wherever they want to line me up, I can do it. How much have you seen Vrabel and his staff kind of uh, evolve over the two years they've been here? Um, unbelievable. Um, the things that I love about it is that, you know, they all get out there and they try to coach. All of them get involved. They all de um, detailed. Um, Variable making sure that not just the players is informed. He's making sure his coaches is informed. Um, to have a guy like that leading us into this um, road victory, it's been un unbelievable. The mindset he he approached with every week is is 
damn near uh, like unspoken of a guy. He he don't care about the win. He don't care about none of that that happened. He's excited for that moment, but he's on to the next. His mindset is always on to the next. Um, we can cherish the moments for a bit, but let's get back to the grind. Don't care about the excuses that you have. You're sore. You whatever. Get back in this building. Let's get back to it. How much have things changed over those two years? Has it been gradual stuff that's noticeable? Uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. I think everything when he came in, man, he preached it from day one. And everybody bought right in, bought right into to what he was preaching, and you you seen it from day one. His effects has has definitely took um, ranks in this building, and everybody's been following the line. He's also said that uh, he's told guys feel free to help hold him accountable, and uh, is that something that you've seen? And have you done said something to him to uh, call him out on something? Uh, I won't say nobody really called that man out. I think I think a couple guys leave that guy to be, you know, um, but. He, he always preached that. That's the biggest thing he's always preached, hold everybody accountable, and if we do. But I ain't going to say the guy is perfect, but he damn near understands football better than anybody in this building, outside this building. The guy, he's a telling dude. So, you know, it's not really too much you can question that man. When the team was, was, team was sitting at two and four, did you see this day coming, and, and maybe what led you to believe you'd be in this position at this point? Um, honestly, would I see this day coming? Not necessarily, um, but – you know, when you got guys in this building that constantly can, uh, hey, K, stay, stay focused, stay in, buy into what's going on, keep it going. Um, there was times at the beginning where I did check kind of out, like, you know, I, I don't know how this is going to go. Injury, dealing with injuries, um, neck injury, knee injury, um, going home, dealing with things like that. Just um, beginning of this, didn't, I can honestly say I didn't. But um, guys in this locker room, they believe, they they trusted in me, been a leader, cut me going, cut me, cut me focused on what, what the bigger picture was and understood they can take care of, you know, the work carry the load and allow me to get back into this to the rhythm that you know they used to see me do and i um, glad I'll be able to come on to this this time and be able to perform the way I have been playing the last couple of weeks to be able to help this team. What's changed the couple months in the red zone? I mean you guys have given up two touchdowns and seven opportunities left. We just locked back in more of a focus mentality uh, we all say you know what we've been doing at the beginning of the year our offense playing hell of a ball don't allow ourselves going into this playoff where our offense is on fire and we're not playing a defensive style football we've been doing and it's just guys locking back in. Man, it's unbelievable playing um, besides Jeffrey and also Daquan. Those boys, both of those boys is beasts. Uh, just to have those guys in, in the same room, the, the mindset they approach the game with, we all communicate. We all understand where we go into those games, how we want to perform. And, you know, just to have those dudes out there is definitely taking the load off me and making the game a lot more easier. Jarrell, a lot of people think, you know, defense <coughs> flying around, hitting people and all that, but especially Saturday night, you guys were incredibly disciplined in how you defended them. How important is that discipline to the game plan and, I guess, just doing your job as part of 11? It's unbelievable. Um, everybody un understands that this game is never won by just one person, especially on the defense side of the ball, so it takes all 11. And going into these games, it's going to be detailed. If you're not detailed on the defense side of the ball, you give up big plays, you give up a play, and that's all it takes for you to lose a game. So it's definitely key for us to make sure we stay on that type of mindset, continue the weeks that we've been having, and stay communica communication sound. You guys have last one? Four, I think, yeah, four, nine, and seven teams in a row case. But, but even before the playoffs began, did you get any sense that, that maybe the community, the fans were more and in, getting more into this team, more excited about this team than, than any of the ones in the past? Uh, I, um. I would say last year was a was a pretty pretty hot time when people was really on the team um, on the team a hot lot a lot uh, this year kind of was up and down but you know we we ready for everybody to jump on ready for the fans to bring it and the city to get rocking so we ready tighten up baby.